Welcome to the next Gantech video. This video is showing you how to sign the student um, contract, acceptable use contract for computer usage at our school, and how to put that on your Google Drive. So here is the use of computers and internet at our school for this school year. I've handed this out to you in class. You should read through this, read through it with your parents. Obviously, the computer lab is not your home computer. You should be using it for learning purposes. Read through everything there. I will not use the internet to access only educational relevant stuff. I will not transmit obscene messages or pictures through email. I will not damage computers or alter them. I will not give out my name, address, or phone number to anyone over the internet. I will not use the internet for personal for commercial purposes, I will be polite and appropriate language in all internet communications. I will not engage in illegal activities or use the internet in such a way to disrupt others. I will not download games, music, or programs onto the computer unless permitted by the administrator. Failure to comply with these rules will result in the loss of computer access and other disciplinary actions. There's a place for you to sign. Um, there's also a place for your parents to sign. So you need to sign this out. I'm going to fill mine's out. All right, Jamie Gant. And I'll sign. On the left side, permission to use student work pictures. You can see my child. You need this part for your parents. I understand from time to time my school may wish to publish examples of student projects, photos. My child's work photographs will be published on Ronald Reagan's Doral School site. Go ahead and check that. Print my parents' name. And they sign. So I filled out my document. Now I need to turn it in on my Google Drive. That way I have it the entire year. So what I'm going to do, use my phone, grab the camera. on my phone, take a picture of it. I can use cam scan app, but I'm just going to use my regular, move this out the way, get a nice picture of it. So I got my picture on your phone, you can share the picture. And I'm going to share it with email. And then I simply can email it to myself. All right. I'll type in my email address here. And I'll send it off. So I've sent it. And I have it. I took a picture of that. You can see here, I need to upload. So you take a picture of it, I need to upload it to my Google Drive so I can open my drive here. Go to my class folder, so any one of your class folders. Let's just say this is my App Design 1 class. I have my first, second grading term. I want to upload this here. So. I need my file on the computer first. I need to op open up my email because I just emailed it to me. So you can see here it is. I emailed that picture. I used my phone to take a picture of it. I open it. I need to download that. Here's my accessible use policy. I actually can download it or I can save it to my drive. Let's do save it to my drive. Click on Organize. I want to click here. I can save it to any one of my classes. Let's just say it's App Design 1. Moving files, you can share it with everyone you can see. I click OK. So from my Gmail, I can save it directly to my Google Drive. If I come back to my Google Drive here, and then the classes, you can see here is my file. If I open it, this is me that I signed it. 
the last step that we want to do is we want to rename this. I'm going to right click on it, do rename my acceptable computer up, oh, sorry, usage policy. And there you go. So really simple process. You first, obviously you need to read through this because you're signing that you're going to obey to this. There's a bunch of stuff on here. I read some up through them. Get your parent to sign this side. Get your parent, um, you to sign this side. Take a picture of it with your phone. Email it to yourself like you saw we did here. Then inside of your email, you can click on Organize and Drive, save it to your drive then you could do like we did in the video and it'll be saved there. Because I have access to your shared folder for any class, which was a previous assignment, I can now see that you have your acceptable uses policy inside of your Google Drive. This has been the video on accepting the acceptable use policy for computers inside our classroom and how to post it, the signed document to your Google Drive.